1808, assault weapons ban on AK rifles, AR-15s, and pistol grips. Two weeks ago, Democrats on Capitol Hill succeeded in moving forward legislation that could infringe on your right to bear arms. H.R. 1808, Assault Weapons Ban of 2022, is a bill that aims to prohibit importing, selling, manufacturing, transferring, or possessing an assault weapon or large capacity ammunition feeding devices. The bill was introduced on March 11, 2021 by David Cicilline, Democrat of Rhode Island, and on July 29, 2022, H.R. 1808 passed the House with a vote of 217 to 213. Due to the weapons ban of 2022, many Americans have wondered, are assault rifles banned in the United States? Many semi-automatic weapons could be banned due to H.R. 1808. This video will cover four things you need to know about H.R. 1808, the proposed ban of firearms, which politicians support disarming Americans, what common use items will be affected, and what you can do to take action. What's banned in H.R. 1808? H.R. 1808, Assault Weapons Ban of 2022, loosely defines an assault weapon as any semi-automatic weapon, pistol, rifle, or shotgun with nearly any modern features. What counts as an assault weapon? The bill says all AK and AR type rifles and lists hundreds of specific models including the Steyr AUG, FNPS 90, and more. The term assault weapon is vague a leftist buzzword that's twisted to fit nearly any definition the specific politician wants to label a common-use firearm. The bill ostensibly targets weapons that have the ability to accept a magazine, belt, drum, or feed strip, and having any other feature like a threaded barrel, adjustable stock, pistol grip, foregrip, or a grenade launcher. Yeah, Congress is worried about you having a grenade launcher, so they're banning it in this legislation while equivocating grenades to a threaded barrel. All under the guise of banning an assault weapon, this bill would heavily infringe on constitutional rights of Americans to bear arms. H.R. 1808 would also outlaw large capacity ammunition feeding devices, such as a magazine of more than 15 rounds, like PMAGs. There's 434 million firearms currently in America, and numerous law-abiding citizens would fall under the definitions outlined in this bill. Look in your gun safe and check out the number of guns that feature a barrel shroud, grip, or a threaded barrel. Adding to potential violations under H.R. 1808, there's also around 150 million magazines that would succumb to this law. So what is common use? In District of Columbia v. Heller in 2008, the U.S. Supreme Court held that the Second Amendment protects arms in common use at the time for lawful purposes like self-defense. Such arms are chosen by the American society. These tools should be considered to be within the common use of Americans. These items are so common that we should compare them to another item you may own, a motor vehicle. There's 434 million firearms in the country, and for comparison, there's about 276 million cars, trucks, motorcycles, and buses. Yeah, there's more firearms than registered vehicles, making firearms as common as they can be. Let's take a real-world application to the verbiage of H.R. 1808 and look at this common firearm. This is a Ruger Mini-14 Ranch. It fires the 5.56 NATO round and has a capacity of 20 rounds, and would be legal under H.R. 1808. This is a Ruger Mini-14 Tactical. It fires the 5.56 NATO round and has a capacity of 20 rounds, and would be illegal under H.R. 1808. These two builds are nearly identical. The only difference between them is one has a threaded barrel, making it an assault weapon, according to H.R. 1808. The non-threaded barrel model actually has a higher muzzle velocity due to a slightly longer barrel, meaning greater terminal ballistics. The threaded barrel allows you to attach a suppressor, so it helps to protect your hearing and the hearing of the people around you. Politicians have no measurable metric to indicate that a rifle with a threaded barrel poses any specific threat. Let's think about ARs and AKs. This is an ordinary firearm at gun ranges, hunting camps, and shooting competitions across the country. Millions of responsible, law-abiding citizens currently own this rifle. This is the most popular rifle in America, and as pictured, the gun owners would violate H.R. 1808 in five different ways. The adjustable stock, pistol grip, threaded barrel, barrel shroud, and magazine. The MSR, the ARAK, remains the most popular centerfire semi-automatic rifle in the United States today, per the NSSF. There are more MSRs in circulation, about 24 million today, then there are Ford F-Series trucks, which is about 6.8 million on the road. 
So which politicians voted for H.R. 1808? As of August 22nd, the United States Congress is composed of 220 Democrats and 211 Republicans. H.R. 1808 passed the House with a vote of 217 to 213. 215 Democrats supported this infringement, while only two Republicans voted in favor, Brian Fitzpatrick of Pennsylvania and Chris Jacobs of New York. It's also important to note that Gonzalez of Ohio withheld his vote. Exemptions from H.R. 1808 there's entities in the U.S. that would be exempt from H.R. 1808. Those include a department or agency of the United States, agency or political subdivision of a state, and law enforcement, whether on duty or off duty. Even if this bill passes, the aforementioned people will be allowed to continue to own and operate firearms deemed too dangerous for everyone else. The bill also exempts certain weapons, including antique or inoperable firearms. That gun in a frame above your fireplace? Likely okay. Your everyday carry in your holster? Maybe not. You may not be able to own or purchase weapons for common use, but the FBI, ATF, DHS, and local law enforcement, campus security, and even the Department of Agriculture will still have access to these weapons and more. So what comes next and how can you protect your 2A rights? H.R. 1808 passed the House and will now go to the Senate for another vote. Currently, the Senate is composed of 50 Republicans and 48 Democrats and two Independents. This bill will require 60 votes to pass, and then will go to President Joe Biden to be signed into law. When will the Senate vote on H.R. 1808? Currently, there's not a date set for the Senate to vote on the bill. These politicians are taking a month-long recess from August 6 to September 6, 2022. A vote could take place after September 7, 2022. Will H.R. 1808 pass the Senate? Many believe odds are against it. Ten Republicans would have to vote against party position. You do have a voice when it comes to the bill passing. You can contact your senator and share your opinion. So in conclusion, the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution states that a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Many would consider banning some of the most common tools in the country to be an infringement. In the Bill of Rights, the framers of the Constitution guaranteed civil liberties for the inalienable right to own weapons. So that wraps up our video. We hope you found this video helpful, and if so, please give it a huge thumbs up, as we always appreciate that. Also, feel free to leave a comment, give suggestions for future videos, or ask any questions you may have. We love getting to respond to as many of those as we can. And if you subscribe to the channel, welcome to the All About Survival family. We've got lots more videos coming your way. Till then, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys on the next video.